the stone tablet series. I ran out. But I went to Target and I got a massive haul of a bunch more of these little mini figures. If you don't know what the stone tablet series is, basically there's these there's these mini figures and they come on these little stone tablet things. Not sponsored, by the way. Basically, whichever staple or character we pull, we have to build the deck using that staple and or character. We've gone through Blue Eyes, Jinzo, Joey Wheeler, and even Dark Magician so far. And uh, Dark Magician looked like this for some reason. This is how you know it's not sponsored. These things are jank. We're gonna check what the next minifigure is by slicing with a sword. Editor, add a sword stab sound effect when this actually goes through. All right, but nevertheless, let's see what our next one is. It's a dupe, damn it. We got Blue Eyes again. So I guess we're just gonna pull another one. That is what I, this is what I was fearing. I was worried that we would get a dupe eventually. We got lucky the first few times, but um, hopefully that doesn't happen again. No way. There's no way. I was dreading this more than any of the staples. Look at all these staples. Look at all the options. All of them seem doable except one odd man out. Our next stone tablet is Sagi the Dark Clown. All right, I'm going to mix this up. All right, I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but Sagi, I have to run at least three Sagi the Dark Clowns, okay? How I make it viable, I don't know yet, but I might just run full clowns or something like, I don't know. There's no way we win with this one. Like, like the last few, I was surprised that I was able to win with some of the decks that I had to make, but this one, there's no shot. I'll see you in a moment when I think of a deck <laughs> for Sagi the Dark Clown. <laughs> Sagi the Dark Clown. The deck has been made. All right, I was dreading this. But after putting the deck together, it actually made me excited because this is what I love about Yu-Gi-Oh! is when I get to like use my creativity and I don't know, like come up with something to make this work. Now, obviously he's a level three dark spellcaster. So what I did is I flooded the deck with, you'll see a lot of vanilla level three dark spellcasters in the deck. So because we have all these level threes, you know, you're going to see some level three exceed monsters. And because we have exceeds, Obviously, we got Zeus. But the main objective of this deck is activate by tributing two normal monsters. Neither player can normal or special summon effect monsters. This is going to shut down like 90% of decks. They can't normal or special summon any of their effect monsters. Their extra deck is pretty much going to be non-existent. It's going to be beautiful. So in order to get this off, like it says, tribute two normal monsters. So I need to get at least two of these out, which is why you're going to see me running Rescue Rabbit, our only non-vanilla monster in the deck. Uh, this can special summon two level four or lower normal monsters from the deck, but they get destroyed end phase. And we also have Enchanting Fitting Room. What this does is I look at the top four cards in my deck and I can special summon any level three normal monster that I excavate, which is pretty much all of these. Creature Seizures, just like Change of Heart, except even better, it's permanent. I could just permanently steal one of my opponent's monsters because the weak nature of my cards, I threw in Bower of the Guardians to make them a little stronger or they can progressively get stronger. Heat Wave also shuts out our opponent from doing what they want to do. You'll notice polymerization in the deck, and that is because First of the Dragons just needs two normal monsters, and then I can bring this card out, and this card's actually really dope. Can't be destroyed by battle, except by battle with a normal monster, and it's unaffected by any monster effects, so it's going to be a really tough out, I think. And we also have Super Poly, so, you know, we got the... You know, we got the Preda Plant, we got the Starving Venom, you know, we got the Mud Dragon. Overall, I think the deck has a lot of potential. Again, as I was crafting this, putting it all together, I was like, this might be able to do something. And they're all Spellcaster Vanilla Monsters, so I threw this in along with Magical Eyes Fusion just so we have a 4,500 beat stick in case we need it. Nevertheless, we are jumping into ranked with this and seeing if it can win. I just feel bad for anyone who has to like go to sleep at night knowing they lost to Sagi the Dark Clown. I mean, maybe I don't win at all, but I think I can. I think this deck can do something. I think it can do a little more than what people gave it credit for. This is an awful starting hand. Wow, it doesn't get much worse than this. Because this is in our starting hand, like this isn't bad in the main deck because I have ways to special summon from the deck. We're playing against a God card player or maybe you're just grabbing sphere mode. One card in the extra deck. Nah, this guy's not a Chad. This guy's a Chad. What you want over there? Hello? Rare Chad duel? All right. What is your debt? What, what is this? What am I dueling against, man? Oh, that is such a savior of a card, man. All right, I'm going to play Rescue Wabbit Thieving. Activate! 
Special summon. Should I bring out the poster boys? I'm not gonna bring out Sagi yet. I want I want Sagi to be what finished. You know what? Just in case we don't get to see him later, you know. Bring out Sagi the Dark Clown along with another Sagi the Dark Clown. All right, I have an idea. First, I'm going to create a little Link Spider. Activate Link Spider. I can special summon one of these normal monsters. Bink. I'm gonna Nightmare Phoenix right here. Pop the back row. The reason we have to get rid of this is because I wouldn't be able to attack. We drew another vanilla. Oh my god. I can't believe this deck is going to work. And then we use this two normal monsters to bring out first of the dragons. You couldn't have scripted a better start. And then magicalized fusion. <laughs> what? I am literally just a tier zero duelist. I'm sorry, guys. I just am. Quintet Magician. 4,500 on the field. I'm just going to start swinging. I don't know what the damage is. I think it's not enough, but, you know, we doing the damage. We doing some damage on him. Think. Now, because he's playing Wing Dragon Abra, I'm worried about spear mode. So, as much as I hate to do this. Oh, he's leaving. He's gone. He's gone. I don't even got to worry about it. I don't even got to worry about it. I don't even got to worry about it, baby. All right, I did a little change before going into this next duel because I just figured if my whole goal is to stop effect monsters from being summoned, then that could work against me as well. So I decided to throw some non-effect monsters into my extra deck, like Berserker of the Tenyi and uh, this Lamp Gaia Saber, stuff like that, just because I figured or I just realized like I'm locking myself out to just using like Sagi the Dark Clown and stuff. So I need to have a backup plan. So again, the two other win conditions, I already showed you kind of the beatdown strat that this deck has, but there's also two other things I want to get off. One, the floodgate aspect of it, just because it's funny. Uh, and two, I want, and this is the more difficult task, I want Sagi to actually be the one who does the lethal damage to, uh, to beat my opponent. Interesting starting hand. I'm going to have to pray that this resolves. Enchanting Fitting Room. This could be... Damn, he has Ash Blossom. Or Maxi. Hopefully it's just Maxi. Okay, one... Okay, all I really needed was one. So we're gonna bring out a Kakaisu. And we're gonna bring out Sagi right here. I think we're gonna get the combo, but we are just one Harpy's Feather Duster away from losing the game. So the reason we're not using White Elephant's Gift or Bower of the Guardians is because in order to activate this again, I gotta tribute both of these. So I think we're gonna get the Floodgate aspect off in this game. I'm just gonna immediately activate it, prevent him from doing anything, tribute both and we're good to go it has resolved tyrant's throws no effect monsters can be played uh, oh don't tell me you're playing exodia you need cards on the field to play exodia or an optimal exodia but it would be funny if he just had all five honestly you just shake his hand and this is a funny moment in history god imagine they all started turning around he might just surrender this card might have just soloed him i might have just soloed him yep he can't play it <laughs> now i just need any monster to start beating down bro a guy kaisu Hold on, but I want Sagi to be the one who does it. You know what? I'm going to get a little greedy and activate this. I'm going to just draw two. I want Sagi to be the one who does the lethal damage. Ooh, perfect. Unexpected die. Bring out Sagi. Attack mode. And now it's time for you to face your demise. Now Sagi is going to get stronger with every attack. Bower of the Guardians. Every time I attack, I gain a counter. And for each counter I gain, I gain 500 attack points. And not only that, it also protects my card from being destroyed by battle. This is this is the Sagi, the Dark Clown board, baby. The fusion gimmicks, those are all, those are truly the side quests. The main boss is here. This clown appears from nowhere and executes very strange moves to avoid enemy attacks. Would you look at that? Tyrant's throws is just my strange moves to avoid enemy attacks. Hey, what? You're negating my attack? Then end the battle phase. Damn. All right. It didn't work. <laughs> hey, why? Oh, I'm unaffected because flawless perfection of the Tenyi. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. All non-effect monsters on the field are unaffected by monster effects. This is the dream board for Sagi the Dark Clown, baby. Oh, he's playing Numerons. This is even funnier. You can't play your deck at all. He's going to surrender now. He's going to come to the shocking realization. I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh no. 
<laughs> Hold on. I get to draw for this. I get to draw for this. When effect monsters are played, this activates and I can draw two. Yes. God, if only I could play this. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. We don't take damage here. We're not going to take damage on the second attack. I think I lose. I do think I lose. Or it's going to be... I don't know. I don't know. Because I get stronger with every... With every battle that we have. Now I have to use this to protect myself. Remove a counter. No. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. All right. Remove the counter. Damn. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 But unfortunately, I think he beats me with effect damage. What's happening? Okay. You removed all my counters? Sagi, no! He negated my field spell. What do I do now? Oh, no! Sagi, you were killing it, bro. <laughs> you were killing it. <laughs> but it was all for Nye. It was all for Nye. Sagi almost beat Numerons, bro. He almost soloed Numerons. Well, we take effect damage and we blow up now. Ah! Damn it. All right, next duel. Go first. That was the dream board. Again, it's obviously it's not unbeatable, but it's... <laughs> oh, man. Siggy was getting stronger and stronger, but we'll just... We'll, we'll, we'll pick up the pieces. We already got one win with it. We'll just get another win with it, you know? Easy. All right, so enchanting fitting room first. One, two... Oh, give me three. Three! Oh! Oh, and he's leaving! He's leaving just the thought of Sagi cooking you scared you that much, bro. It's a good starting hand. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with this starting hand right here. Enchanting fitting room. I look at the top four. I can play three. If I get three. I don't know why I said three. But, okay, two. Defense mode. Defense mode. And guess what? It's not once per turn. Enchanting fitting room. One. Just one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think this strat will be to bring out... I have options. The deck has options. That's what's beautiful about it, man. All right, my two options are I could bring out a wall, which would be first of the dragons, or... You know what? We've already seen first of the dragons in this video, so let's mix it up a little bit. Let's bring out one of the coolest cards in the deck, Ashura King. Now, this guy can negate a monster effect. What do you have? Do you have effect veiler? I think he has effect veiler. Bro, it's not doing anything right now, you dunce. All right, he's one of those shiny button me press. Allure of Darkness, draw two. Let's banish a Kakaisu. And let's equip Bower of the Guardians. Put it on Ashura King. So this guy can negate a monster effect once per turn. I just have to detach material. And also for each material that he has, he can attack that many times. And for every time he attacks, he gets 200 attack points stronger. Cyber Dragons? Pfft, what is this supposed to do? Yeah, the answer is no. Ashura King says no. I will detach one Akakaisu to simply say no to your effect. Every Cyber Dragon. Doesn't matter. You could have a 60 card deck and Cyber Dragon Core will always find its way to the front of the deck somehow. Every time. What do you attack? You bet not. You bet not, bro. I promise you're going to regret attacking. Why did you attack this? Don't you ever in your life, bro, he's going to leave. He's going to leave. He's going to leave. He doesn't read, and he's going to leave. This is beautiful. Heat Wave. Now he can't play any cards on his next turn. No, I should have flipped over Sagi so he gets the final blow. But as you can see, I could just solo with this card right now. Sagi wouldn't have gotten the final blow anyway. I'm just going to win. Good night. Goodbye. Mink. The deck has tools. So technically, we have gotten the Floodgate off. We have shown... Cool extra deck monsters that can win. We've shown Quintet Magician. We've shown Burst of the Dragons. We just showed Ashura King, which can turn into Zeus, by the way. But the one thing we haven't done with the deck is win with Sagi being <laughs> the one who finishes off my opponent. Not that. Yes. Okay, we're good. Special Summon Fairy Witch. Special Summon Fairy Witch. White Elephant's Gift. Draw two. We're going to get the floodgate off. Bring out Link Spider. Activate Link Spider. Bring out Sagi the Dark Clown. And then during his draw phase, Tyrant's Throws. Tribute both. And you can't play any monsters. 
response. If you look back very closely at this card, it's a key, the, dark, the dark clown is there too. Dead who? Oh, you're so cooked. I'm gonna white elephant's gift, draw two. It's a risk because if I don't get another normal monster, okay, we're good, we're good. Mink. I should have activated Heat Wave. All right. Well, if he's going to combo, now's the time. Branded Fusion. I, I, I'm so cooked. Should have activated Heat Wave, man. All right. You win, bro. Leave me alone. Come on, Sagi. We can do this, man. We got, we got a couple dubs. We can do it again. You're playing Pendulums. You have just dried up every vagina in a five-mile radius of you, partner. I hope you're happy. All right, heart of the cards. I have many monsters. I just need this to be one of them. I like this. Defense mode. Defense mode. Amazon S. All right, spiritualist, I believe we are going to say no to because it could fuse and bring out something scurry. Goodbye. You, yes. Bar of the Guardians, as long as I have a counter remove, can't be destroyed. Switch to attack mode. I can attack for every material that I have. And I get stronger with each attack. And this is the part where you run away. We really trying this again? I already know what to do. You activate Spiritualist, I say no, and we move on with our lives. No. And I would apologize, but I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've made mistakes. Honestly, I could be a better person if you would allow me to be a better person. I didn't... Honestly, I didn't know you had that dog in you, Bob. I didn't know you um, were capable of... This is gonna hurt. Why didn't you attack? You know what? I like to live life on the edge. Attack the swordswoman. That hurt. But at least that's gone. Going to Zeus. All right, I think I'm just gonna activate this now. Looks like you have nothing else you can do. I want Sagi to throw that final blow, man. Just once, just one time, Sagi. All right, this is a hand. But because of my expert deck construction, this hand is playable. Watch this. Link of Spider, Breath of Land, Burst of the Dragon. Magician's Rod. No. GG, you win. I regret to inform you guys that I'm going to lose this duel. So I'm going to expedite it. Whoa! All right. That's what I'm talking about right here. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. Heat wave. Watch this. You can't play nothing. You can't play nothing. Sorry. Uh -huh. Nice. Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Would you like to surrender? Branded Chimera? <laughs> but that card will do absolutely nothing. Nice, bro. Your whole field's gone. Thoughts? Tribute one fusion monster. Special summon this card. <gasps> but if you bring that out, then nothing will happen. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, brother. Just go away, man. All right, again, if you have back row that can destroy this, or if you have a spell or a trap, then that's fine. But monsters are not going to do the trick here, man. All right, that'll do the trick. Um, I'll shake your hand, and I'll become a better person for this. <laughs> but it appears I am a dumbass. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Couldn't get past one heat wave. Sorry, bro. Sometimes it gets hot. <laughs> Shit. Now this is a hand. That is awful. Dark Law. Oh no, he's gonna banish one of my cards if I add it. Uh, not end of the world. Okay, because we can unexpected die. We can steal Dark Law. We will take Dark Law. Dark Law will be ours. Damn you. Sick son of a fuck. 
might have just helped me. You might have just helped me. Isn't this a normal monster too, this big token? You might have just helped me. I get to draw two now. Thanks? You just outed yourself. You gave me a monster. This could be my out. I think I just won. A Kakaisu. Shit. I think I just lost. Because of this dumb card, bro. I can't turn this into Artemis because Artemis, even though I'm getting rid of a spellcaster to replace it with the spellcaster, doesn't count. All right, if it's Magic Cylinder, I will just simply hold that. It's not. It's not. Don't have something that's 2,500, man. Okay, well, that means regardless, I was cooked. No way. You're playing that. Bro, what the, what the, you think you're going to do with this red eye, huh? I'm stealing this card next turn, by the way. I'm gonna punch you. Watch out, mink. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. He surrendered. I am going to throw up in my mouth. God damn, please, bro. Oh, <laughs> you're a little whore, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you know what? This is justice. I'm gonna go ahead and just play Sagi in defense mode. Then I'm gonna play Fairy Witch, activate, White Elephant's Gift. Draw Dose. I'm gonna set Super Poly just in case and I'll end my turn there. If he's dumb, he'll attack. Thanks for the free counter. Ink. Deru. Ooh, Sagi beat down. Initiate. Bower of the Guardians, part two. So now I'll gain 1,000 for every attack that I do. Bro, that might stop good decks, but that's not gonna stop me, partner. Here, bro, I'm about to bless you. I'm about to bless you, bro. I'm about to bless you, bro. You may have this card, but you gotta give me yours. Good deal? You can have that. Attack mode. Batal! Sagi! Dark Clown! Honk Honk! Attack! Yeah! 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 Mink? Oh, Sagi gonna get strong! Sagi gonna get strong! I appreciate the card. I keep this forever, by the way. You may not know that, but you gonna learn. Oh, brother, this guy sucks. Oh, no, you little dickhead. And then this can destroy Sagi, but he doesn't do it. Okay, Sagi beatdown is not done. Rescue Rabbit. He has a solemn judgment. Mink, mink. Bink, bink. Look at supercharged Sagi going crazy. Destroy that. I don't care. I just don't care. What you fail to realize is that's good against good decks, bro. That ain't gonna do nothing to me. Mink. Mink. All right, I gotta get rid of these because it gets destroyed end phase for first of the dragons. Please don't surrender, bro. I know you play a toxic deck and you probably can't handle losses very well, but I need you to please just not surrender. He's gonna surrender. You know what? This classifies as a Sagi domination, bro. Sagi cooked. Sagi cooked. All right, I'll take it. You know what? Sagi did his thing. We got a supercharged Sagi. That will classify as my Sagi dub. Uh, and that guy has to go to bed at night knowing that his deck was built to like destroy anything in its path, anything in its wake, but he couldn't get past Sagi the Dark Cloud. <laughs>